So yeah, I mean, as I've demonstrated with this video, it's not a, there's nothing wrong with the concept. It doesn't shake itself apart when I extend the pistons or anything like that. Um, I think I've proved my point now that it can drill down. I might leave it a few more minutes. Take it back up and I'll show you how you widen out the hole. Yeah, let's do that now. So. We reverse the drill, the depth pistons. So drills fully retracted, keep it keep the drills on, keep the rotation on. We get the side rotors. And we just reverse them a little bit. See what's happening now. The outer drills are now at a position that's got a more of a radius now, so drill a wider hole. Might be a bit more. That seems about right. And then of course uh, you just send it back down. So yeah, if you can imagine, if you can imagine, I'm not going to demonstrate because it'll take two hours, but if you can imagine now that if once you send this drill down and back up, you can put a little bit more angle on, send it back down and up. At one point you'll reach 90 degrees on these rotors, which point if you want even more of a, of a, of, of a width of a hole, then you can extend those pistons. You can claim ridiculous amounts just with one setup. So maybe I'll do another follow-up video in future um, showing how to make cave bases, perfectly spherical caverns and I might even uh, give it a shot at trying to make a, uh, a spiral ramp access which is all possible with this design. Uh, if you guys know of a better drilling design than this point me towards it, I'd really appreciate it. I'm, I'm always looking for you know, inspiration for improvement and that. I'm not so naive to think that I've got the best design, or, or will have forever. You know, this this game's just crazy for the amount of innovation that's possible. So, yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, uh, please put a like, leave a comment. Um, as I say, if you've got any suggestions for this build, leave a comment. And yeah, if, if you liked what I've done here, then just um, have a look on the workshop. It will eventually be on the workshop for download once I've completed it. Um, but to be honest, this, if you wanted to use the same concept, it really isn't that hard to sell for yourself.
I'd be more than happy to see this concept used elsewhere, like I'm not selfish with my ideas or anything like that. Um, in fact, I think good ideas should be shared. So yeah, finally I think I'm just going to close the drill back up now. Let's see if we can get it back to its original position. that's the perfect position we can switch the drills off one point of consideration maybe I haven't thought of yet is how quickly this thing gathers ore and how slowly it actually deposits it back into a back into the main hold so something I might have to address it might be worth seeing now how much ice is in the uh, connectors Yeah, so maybe I should try and find a way to put extra connectors on for more dump power, but um, that's something I'll have to figure out. Maybe I could put them here, actually, for when it closes down. Well, I don't know what to do about that yet, but um, we're going to turn off the connectors there, pack it up. Did, uh, did things in the wrong order there. Excellent, now it's ready to be transferred to a different location. Um, might be wise, obviously in survival, to maybe empty some of the weight out of it if you're going to fly it anywhere after you've done a drilling operation. But, um,
getting some uh, some energy overload here so I don't think I've balanced the power requirements out properly yet as I say it's not a perfected build it's just a it's a, it's, it's a work in progress I just thought it might be interesting to show you guys So there it is guys, this is the Poseidon drilling platform, it will eventually be on the workshop. Uh, thanks very much for watching, comment, like, subscribe, all of that jazz. Uh, see you on Space Engineers soon. Thanks, bye.